What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I didn't talk for three videos straight. People told me they wanted to talk. This is what I feel like talking about. This is my top five idiotic advice I've heard people give about aquarium fish. If you like this type of video, let me know. I've got about 100 of these stuck in my sick and twisted head. So please leave me a nice comment about idiotic stuff that you've heard or if you want to hear more of these coming out of my brain. Number five, you better watch out for quarry cats in class. You don't want to have too sharp a substrate for the quarry cats because the quarry cats might cut their barbells. What are you talking about? Are we using shards of glass for the substrate in your quarry cat tanks? Did I not get the memo? What are you doing, breaking bottles, putting it all over the substrate, and then throwing quarry cats in? That's ridiculous. See this? This is Segundo. See the bags of quarry cats in his hands? See this? This is a beach. This has sand on the beach where they collect quarry cats. Guess what? Quarry cats are fine. They're fish. They got sensors. They're not getting cut. If you got a quarry cat that has marbles that are cut, send it to me. I'll take good care of it. Oh, quarry cats are fine. They're fish. Leave them alone. Number four. Idiotic things people say about aquarium fish. You better watch out for that better fish. That better fish has long fins. That drift will hurt it. This better fish is as thug as it can be, all right? I bought it, it was in a cup at Death Co, okay? It is a platinum betta, like platinum pock, like pop, 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 shots couldn't drop me. I take it in style now, it's time to set the record straight. Bettas are the thugs that you love to hate. They're fine, they're fish and their fins are fine, okay? Look, yes, if you wanna decorate your trees with shards of glass, you can cut the mouth of your quarry cat and the fins of your betta fish. Betta fish. Oh, worry about the fish. They're better fish. They're insanely hardy and have amazing personalities. My number three stupid things people say about aquarium fish. You got algae in your tank. I got algae in my tank. I'm just gonna get an algae eater. It'll eat the algae. I've also heard people say, oh, I'm gonna get an algae eater. It will eat the poop that's actually come out of someone's mouth that a fish, an algae eater no less, is gonna eat other fish's feces. This is ridiculous. Look, my algae's my problem. Your algae is your problem. Don't go pinning it on some thug fish. I hope that Pleco's dorsal fin pokes you in your fat finger on its way into your tank. You're trying to make it clean up the mess that you made, Mr. Fish Tank person. My number two bad advice I've heard people give about aquariums. I'm talking about RO units in the planted tank. What are you gonna do? You're gonna drop between 100, 200, 300 dollars on a unit that removes everything your plants eat. Then you're gonna take another couple hundred dollars of the plants and put them in that aquarium with absolutely no water of any benefit to any of your plants. Look, I know the remineralizing people are gonna go crazy about this and if you're gonna remineralize your water, that's an entirely different conversation. But I know of multiple people who have used RO unit water directly, the RO filtered water into their aquarium. I wonder, I don't know why, but none of my plants will grow. It doesn't know if it's going. It's because you're using water that's worthless. But number one, bad advice I've heard people give about aquarium fish, not acclimating fish at all. Just putting the bag in the tank and then cutting the bag and dumping the fish in, okay? I know there's big YouTubers that will disagree with me on this, that's fine. In Dusty's humble opinion, that fish has been through a long transition and needs a little bit of time to drip, 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 get that water into the bag. And then what you do is you take the fish, you dump the fish into a bag, you make sure all that foul, terrible water from the bag the fish was living in is in the toilet and not in your aquarium, and then you put the fish in. Do me a favor, please leave me a comment on the worst advice you've ever heard anyone give about an aquarium in the comments. Make it an awesome week and tank on. Later.